Wait. Wait, 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 wait. It almost fell. Wait, Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I literally put this on. Many people have asked me how I put this on and how it works and everything. So I really wanted to show you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so this is a body harness one. A lot of people have the robotic one. Okay, let me put this shirt right here. Okay, so usually what I do, the first thing I do is I put this on. So the reason I need to put this on is because like my arm, it needs to like, it can't just go in here or else it's gonna get stuck. So I have to slide it in. Let me do this real quick. Okay, so the first thing I do is I put this here and then put this little part, this little part right here, I put it inside this hole. I'm pretty sure you can see this hole right here. I need to make sure it's like the right way. So then I need, I find like a place that's like kind of steady. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, there we go. And then I put my, wait. I put my arm in like this. Oi, 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 oi. It almost fell. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. It kind of hurts a little, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm gonna go a little down. I'm pretty sure you can still see me, but the reason I need to do this is because, I look a little funny, but the reason I need to do this is because I need like a flat place where I can like put my hand down. Okay, let me... Oi. I have to pull it out until it's no longer there and each time I have to like put my hand down if that makes sense. Now that I'm finished, I have to put something in here to secure it because if I don't, it's going to like get more air and then my, this part has to be like all the way down. It's honestly a whole Work out, I'm not sweating, but my arm has to be all the way down here, so let me go grab that real quick. Okay, this is the part that I was talking about. It looks like this, and I have to make sure I put it. Let me not do that. Like, screw it on here. I'm pretty sure you can see from there. After I screw it, ah, I need to not have too much air in here, just so my arm can go all the way down. This basically goes over my body. So, like, this isn't a robotic one, it's more of like a body harness one. So, what I do is that I have to make sure that these are right. Okay. And then this is what I do. So I put this like this. And now I have to put this over my body. And just move my hair out of the way. Because it's in the way. Ow! Okay. <laughs> Wait a second. Give me a sec. Basically, this part, this right here, has to be down and it has to be in the middle like it has to go in the middle the reason it has to go in the middle is so like my arm can move properly i wear this sometimes when i'm driving like too far places or i wear it under my clothes i never really wear it over my clothes just because like i don't like how it looks how this like has this right here and stuff so usually I can't carry really heavy things. That's the thing about this arm is that I can't really carry heavy things. It'll literally just like go down. Like if I have something, it'll just go down. You guys see how it goes down? Also like when I'm driving, I do use it when I drive, but sometimes when I drive, I don't really use it just because like the majority of the time, it's kind of like in the way. So like whenever I have to turn, I have to basically pick up the whole entire arm and like move it to the side. So I, it takes like some time and like if I have to turn fast, I don't really have that time to like pick it up, especially because it's pretty heavy. To go get it fixed a little bit just because like whenever I go like this, the movement doesn't really like do what I want it to do. But usually I put this down a little bit and then like it locks in place and it moves. It's easier to honestly just go like this. If I want to put my arm down, I can just go like this and then it locks in place and then it doesn't move. Like obviously it moves like this, but it doesn't move like if it was like this look. So you see how like like it just moves everywhere. The reason why I lock it is that so it doesn't move everywhere. And then if I want to move it more up, then I just move it up. People also ask me if my fingers can open. And I'm going to show you exactly. They can open just a little bit. Like if I want to open them. Watch. Let me show you. Oh no. Pretty sure you can see from there. Let me move this table real quick. If I want to move my fingers, I can. Look. I move them in and then out and then open them, close, open, close. So if, let's say I want to get something, right? Let's try something out. Like if I want to get something, 
I'm not actually gonna let it go, but if I wanna get something, so let me put this right here. Okay, so if I wanna get this cup and I wanna open this and close it, look, let me open it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if it works because I haven't actually used it with the cup. Okay, so if I wanna open and close this, look, it won't really hold on to the cup, if that makes sense, because the grip will let go, it's not strong enough. I can't put something really heavy or else, like I said, it's going to go like down, even if it's locked. So that's the only thing with it. I do wear it, but only when I drive really far. I don't really wear it when I drive like close by in like areas or like when I'm doing things at home, I don't really use it just because I feel like I already adapted to doing things with one arm. I'm thankful for the arm. I just feel like it's really heavy even when I'm trying to do things. The reason why is because I basically have to move my body with it and it always leaves me like red marks right here. Like whenever I have it on, it leaves me red marks. So sometimes I do wear it, sometimes I don't wear it. Honestly, I just adapted to doing things with just my arm. So that's why it's like a little more easier for me, even like cutting things, making food, like tying my shoes, like everything. I just adapted to doing it with one arm. Yeah, so this is how I literally put my arm on. I know I've gotten so many questions and I just want to answer you guys' questions. I was like, I'm going to show them. I'll make a video and show them exactly how I put my prosthetic arm on and how it works and which one I have. I only have this one. I don't have other ones. Although we were looking into robotic ones, they are very expensive. So we decided to just get this one. It's crazy how expensive robotic arms are arms are that's why we just decided to get this one and i'm very thankful for it but yeah i wanted to show you guys exactly how i put it on how it works what's the function and basically whenever i want to like take it off i just do the same thing thank you so much make sure to like and subscribe so i can continue doing videos like this 